Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome to January. Welcome to an ongoing year of change. Last year, we witnessed a lot of upheaval. Um, the beginnings of breaking apart systems that don't fit any longer with where we're going and what we're evolving and vibrating into. This year, we're going to continue pulling those systems apart. And also, what's most important is going to continue lifting your vibrations into higher and higher fre frequencies. And you are going to be encompassing more of your soul this year. So for January, I already kind of stated what was really kind of we're going to be looking at. So this is kind of a year of a manifestation. And I don't mean necessarily this year is all about manifesting. That is too, for me, superficial um, to even state. I'm speaking of what goes on behind the scenes so that we can manifest. But today I want to talk to you about what changes that you might see in your near future and to try work on helping yourself being able to traverse these things. To some people, to most people, things that are coming down, the changes that are coming about within our particular life may seem and feel very traumatic and um, might want to fight against it. Uh, but so that's what we're going to talk about today, um, just a little bit. Um, so I just kind of prepare you because this is what I'm told is kind of coming down the pike. So let's get started. So let's see here. So our beliefs of what we feel is a um, good life, right? In quotations, a good life, a proper life. Uh, what we feel is right for us and our children, every single one of us, this is not excluding anyone. It is all has been created by experiences. It has all been created by um, information being plugged into your brain again and again and again that creates programs running in our brain that creates beliefs. And we all put a lot of our energy behind what we believe in, right? Or I'm certainly not going to put a lot of energy into someone say that it's good to drive cars off of a bridge just to get rid of them, right? That's not my belief. And I'm not going to support that, right? But to that person, that might make a really good sense, especially if it's stripped and it's cleaned and therefore can create a coral reef system, et cetera, et cetera. It all has to do with perspective, your experiences, your programs, and your beliefs. And that's just a really simple example. But we all have them. And so let's put a pen in that for a second. Now let's go to we all have subconsciously, consciously wished, wanted, have spoken, prayed, meditated on a better way of life. We all have done it to some extent or another. I wish I had more money. Um, I wish I was more stable. I wish we lived in a freer world. I wish we had more choice um, within my own life. I wish I had um, more love. I wish we had more collaboration, more joy, more safety. I mean, the world the, it just goes on and on and on and on, right? And the reason we asked for these things is because the programs that are currently running programs in the way of, um, you know, it could be banking programs. It could be judicial programs. It could be um, government programs. It could be political programs. It could be um, programs that are running under a false flag. You know, where you're giving your money to, let's say, save the whales and it's actually going to some other place to pocket somebody's pants or to, um, you know, drilling in the Middle East. We don't know. But the thing is, these programs have been running. It's created this falsified world that which we don't, to some extent, like. We want a better world. 
But we created this world through our thoughts. And at one point, way back before that, we have created certain desires that have created certain programs that are running within our world. So we are all part of this and we are all responsible for where our world is today. But we're also responsible for what is turning and turning over right now in our world today because we've all been asking for something better, which is great. So I want to give you this analogy. What we've been asking for, something better, started to come to the surface last year. And because it's, we're always growing, that's a fact. We always grow. We don't ever stop or revert. We always grow. So growth is what? Growing up, growing higher in vibration. So last year we had, um, sorry, something in my eyeball that hurts. So last year, or not last year, for the last several decades, we've been asking for a certain amount of growth. And so that started kind of filtering up through the bottom and bringing a lot of darkness, dark agendas, control agendas, lies. I mean, I'm sure we all could come up with different thoughts there, right? And to the surface. And this year, it's going to start crumbling that basement floor that those old systems used to stand upon, and they're going to start crumbling apart. The thing is, a lot of us are dependent still upon those systems. It's like, you know oh, I really want to lose like 40 pounds, but oh crap, that means I have to buy a whole new wardrobe, right? It's a bittersweet. It's, it's a two-sided coin. Um, I really want a brand new car, but I don't want to spend 15,000 plus dollars. Um, you know, it's always like, yes, but no. And so we've asked for these new systems to come through. We have not seen these systems. They'll start showing themselves later on this year. Um, but right now the systems have to crumble apart and we are part and dependent upon those systems. So there's the pain, right? So think about this. You're in a room and you've seen your room. You looked your room. You're like, you know, I really want a different room. I want to want a bigger room that has more light, has a great view, has some fantastic furniture, has a great bed, et cetera, et cetera. And you open the door and whoa, so much light comes in that door. And you see in the next room everything that you desired. And you're like, wow, it's actually possible. Thing is, none of us aren't seeing that new light. Why? Because we're still looking in our old room and we're seeing that someone's come in with muddy feet and they've jumped on our bed. We've seen that someone has thrashed at our dresser and broken it apart. Um, and we're like, what the heck? And then we see as they broke it apart, it wasn't made of pure wood. It was actually made of plastic or pressed wood. My God, I spent thousands of dollars on it. It was supposedly, you know, pure wood and it was pressed wood. That's worth like, you know, under a hundred bucks. And I paid thousands of dollars for me. That's a lie. We're so distracted about the narration that's going on in the world. And that's exactly what it's meant to do, distract you. So you continue to look at the old world, the old room that you are leaving. And you're getting caught up in the dramas and you're getting, getting caught up in the trauma and you're getting caught up in the lies. There's so many lies going on right now um, everywhere, everywhere. It's not one side is truthful and the other side is not. No, it's not like that. It's There's lies everywhere. And the thing is, is how are you going to go traverse this time of how do you turn yourself around, face the new room, see the new light, see what's coming to you, one. Number two, how do you discern through the lies, right? And three, how do you just live through this time? So this is what I want to help you out today. So first of all, it's going to be really, really challenging for a lot of us, especially for those of you that are really... And I mean this with a love and endearment in my heart. For all you um, news junkies, this is going to be really hard. And I say junkies because you are addicted to listening to it and watching it. It is addictive. It is drama. And you guys live off the drama. So if you really want a different life, then turn off that TV. If you all of a sudden got an emotional response with what I said, and, hey, what are you doing? And don't worry about it. Leave the TV on. 
If that's the world, if you love the world that you're currently experiencing and living and feeling within your body, then by all means, stick with it. I'm not here to tell you to change your life. I'm just here to help those who want to change their life and want something different and want to know how can I traverse this time right now. So most of you who do listen to me have heard this from me so many times before that turn off the TV, stop watching the news. Um, and this next part is even hard for me is stop really limit your time on social media. Definitely stop what I call doom scrolling. Um, it's not what I understand the term is really about, but to me, doom scrolling is, you know, going around. I know doom scrolling is meant like you stay on there and you just go for a long time, right? Because it kind of sucks you in. Definitely stop doing that. But doom scrolling the way of like, what I used to do is go on Facebook and different places and I would get sucked in to this clickbait drama of the pol political stuff that's going on or the lies that are going on or the medical stuff that's lies that are going on or, 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 right. And that's what I call doom scrolling because once you start listening, once you start watching, you're doomed, right? Your energy falls. So stop that altogether and really limit your time on social media, really limit your time on the screen, and it's really challenging, especially for us like myself, who that's how I communicate, right? I communicate to you guys through my videos, uh, through my posts. I communicate with my customers. I communicate with my clients, everything through my phone. So this is going to be really kind of touchy, but try your best to limit yourself. But secondly, really try your best to balance it with the regular world. Now, a lot of you just is like, well, the regular world is watching TV. No, the real world, which is earth. Yeah, it's that thing that we live on that we step outside and there's this brown stuff, sometimes with grass, or maybe it's white with snow, or maybe it's sand. That is earth. Get outside, back in touch with earth. Get outside with nature. If it's cold, I get it. But try your best to at least go sit on a bench, by a river, maybe sit even in your car if you're in a park, um, you know, go walk down to the beach if you're in the warmer climates, just, I don't care if you're walking, you're moving, just go be with nature. Balance out that time because it balances out the brain function. Not kidding. The more screen time we have, the more our brain kind of shuts down, the more you, you move away from the frontal cortex and go to other parts of your um brain. What big deal is that? Your frontal cortex, guys, is where you have logic, where you can have discernment of what's truth and not truth. But if you're constantly looking at a screen and having it tell you how to feel, how to think, and what's going on, you're not in your frontal cortex. You're being programmed. And this is the end of the programming time. We've been programmed from decades, guys, and the truth is going to start coming out. Hopefully this month, I've been told it's this month, but it all depends upon timelines and how well we all wake up and agree. I want to wake up. I want to know the truth. I want to be in alignment so I can have discernment to know what my truth is for me and let it be. So the first thing is try your best to unplug away from anything that's trying to tell you how to think. <laughs> Here I am telling you how to think, right? There's an oxymoron. Um, I'm giving you suggestions of what works for me, what has been shown for me. If this is not your truth, then God bless you. I know if you're looking for guidance, you'll find that guidance. Um, so find, shut off your social media, so sh shut off the news. Don't watch anymore. Um, go balance it out with nature. Uh, thirdly, when looking around your room, stop. You know, that room that's falling apart and, oh my gosh, he won, he won. He, uh, he said, she said, this place is going to, uh, you know, just craziness because it's chaos, guys. It's chaos. And if you're focusing on the chaos, you are going to become majorly muy chaos inside your brain and you're going to fall apart. So as those systems fall apart through the chaos and the destruction, you are going to be destructed within that chaos too. So you need to create a calmness within you. So shut off the TV and the media and whatnot. Come within, find the calmness within, balance it out with nature, have nature support you. Meditation works. You know how to meditate? It's not about staying quiet. 
Um, I mean, that can be about it, right? But it's not about completely shutting down. There's so many ways to meditate, so many ways to meditate. And that helps you also calm. That helps you also get in alignment. Prayer is an essence of meditation. Um, but as the world starts to fall apart, really try retracting your energy tendrils back into your body. If you're in here, it's just like, I'm trying to think of a good example. Sorry, I think I'm falling asleep. <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, so yeah, it's like standing in your room when there's an earthquake around you, but you're so centered you don't feel the earthquake. You just see everything kind of shaking. You're like, hmm, interesting but you're not shaking at all. You're very calm and you're in, internalized. Third thing, really practice your quiet moments, turning your focus away from the trauma, drama, reactive narrative that's trying to get your attention through fear-based. Anything that's fear-based, guys, that is a red flag. Anything that's fear-based, is a red flag. If anybody says anything that she's lying and she's wants to go ahead and murder all these people, or she's, um, trying to, you know, do A, B, C, D, that seems really horrific and bad and, and it's fear based. That's a red flag. That's more than likely untruth. So work really hard and turning your focus, right? So you're looking at that open door that's showing you the new room with all the new light. It's all your choice. We all have free will and it's your choice to how you want to be guided. Do you want to be guided by fear-based um, propaganda, um, trying to keep you in the old ways, trying to help you crumble and fall down as the chaos deconstructs the old world? Or do you want to be guided to seeing the light, feeling centered, feeling love, feeling joy, feeling camaraderie and companionship, being connected to source, knowing discernment what's right for you and what's not right for you, right? Which would you choose? So this is just a little short piece of what's kind of come down our pike and using the room as an example of as this room starts to show up and show different lies and everything, Really be careful that as the lies come out or the hor horrific, nicks, hor horrif hor sorry, things are coming up on my phone. Things that are horrific come up in our world and being shown to us. Breathe, breathe. We can easily go into hyperventilation. We can easily be, holy crap, this has been going on. Holy crap, you've got to be kidding me. I've been living in this world. Holy crap, I've been bamboozled this whole entire time. Yeah, pretty much everybody has to some extent or another. And it's no right, no wrong, so we have. So swallow it. It's a hard pill. It's a jagged pill. But nevertheless, we're waking up to see what really is. But don't get distracted by it. Don't go and get pulled down to the narration of, holy crap, that's been going on. It's horrific. Oh, my God. And then before you know it, you're crying your eyes out. Your vibration's really low. And it's going to take you weeks to get out of it. You've not helped anyone. You've definitely not helped whatever you're seeing. So turn your focus around. Look for that light. You can find that light through meditation. If you want more help, reach out to me. Um, I'd be happy to give you some quick um, uh, tips as to how to get yourself in alignment, how to feel, get yourself feeling better and happier and more in alignment and seeing that world that is coming our way. So I love you guys. Mwah, hang in there. This is going to be a fun week. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.